If you love liberty, declare your independence by signing the Shire Society Declaration at ShireSociety.com. People are afraid. People don't know what to do. Everybody is just ready to lay down and die and do whatever they're told, from what I can tell. And I'm not one to lay down and die. I don't care if I'm surrounded by 10 or 100 men. I will fight, claw, tooth, and nail till my last breath. The slogan I think that we're going to need to take over for the state is breathe free or die. Breathe free or die. And yes, the real virus is fear. So it's time to take these, this uh, situation in our hands and it's going to take some broken eggs to make an omelet, so to speak. There might need to be tears and bloodshed. People might need to get arrested. You know, it's just, that's how it's going to go down. We need to force their hand, get these things into court, and fight them on that, on that battlefield because we all know that they are violating the Constitution. The Ninth Amendment is a catch-all that protects our right to breathe freely, the Ninth and the Tenth Amendment, right? So anything that's not specifically enumerated in the Constitution is reserved to the people or the states, respectively. So it's up to us to decide what our natural rights are that are not enumerated in the Constitution. So thanks again for coming out. And who would like to go next? Aria? I want to also thank everyone for coming. I do have to disagree with the previous speaker. I do not want to see bloodshed at all. However, I am here because I oppose fascism. And what we're seeing today here in Keene and here in New Hampshire and in places like Nashua is actual literal textbook fascism, whereas the state has blurred the line between the state and businesses to the extent that your average Starbucks barista, your average gas station worker, anyone who is out there employed has become a law enforcement officer. And that's required for fascism because we always outnumber the state. They'll never have enough police officers to actually arrest everyone who isn't wearing a mask. So what do they do? They bend the businesses over because they already have the businesses on the hook. They already require licenses and the state can just take those away. They threatened that to bars here in Keene for not forcing people to wear masks. It's absurd. Business owners, employees, all of these people have become agents of the state. They are law enforcement, and that's fascism, and it has to be opposed. I don't care if you agree with how the fascism, with what is motivating the fascism. I don't care if you support the result. The means is wrong. The means is immoral, and we should oppose it. Where is Antifa as literal fascism is taking hold here? Nowhere to be found. And I'm running for a sheriff in Cheshire County, obviously. You can find my website at fpolice.com, effpolice.com. And I think the sheriff's departments throughout the counties, throughout the United States, should be opposing these things because they are, in fact, unconstitutional. And the sheriffs have the authority to impede the city councils, to impede the police departments as they're forcing these mandates upon us. There's been a campaign waged by the military, the government, and the media to make Americans hate each other. And that's the last thing that we need to do. What we need to do, if we're going to survive whatever the hell is coming, and something's coming, is we have to join with the other disaffected communities, with the other people who are getting the short end of the stick or don't like what they're getting, and say, hey, this is all one fight. You know? we, we can't have a, a left and a right division anymore. You know? It doesn't it doesn't matter. The left and the right have been working together to enslave us, together with the media. 
the amazing thing about the media today isn't that they uh, isn't the things they say. It's that they're so predictable, so scripted. You can follow the timelines because there aren't more than you'd find in in a reasonably good soap opera going on at one given time. And it's a constant stream of multimedia manipulation. The first things that need to die in this revolution are the television sets. Because the revolution will not be televised. So you need to come out anyway. Don't wait for the TV cameras. They're not gonna come. The media is not going to come. They could be crucifying us up and down the streets and the media would not come. So if you see the television cameras are focusing on your movement, you're probably going in the wrong direction. You're probably going in the direction that authority is trying to move you. Because it's not a single entity. It is the entire upper echelons of the world. Corporate and governmental. Because a government is just a corporation with a life with a license to kill. The bottom line is we need to establish lines of communication that cannot be broken. We need to take control back of our inputs. We need to stop taking in so much garbage in our minds, you know? And the, the last thing that, that we need to do, the thing that we've got to defeat, is we've got to defeat hate. Yeah. Because the, the, the bottom line is, as long as they can keep us hating each other, or thinking that we hate each other, because they've gone, a, they've, the media has gone way out of their way to push the narrative that the militia hates uh, black people. And the reality is that 13% of the militia are black people. The, the Black Panthers were one of the most successful armed military uh, militia movements in history. They were incredibly powerful. Unlike the police, they protected the black community. And they did it with a passion because it was their people. Yeah, the only thing I can say is kill your television and make sure if you're spending a lot of time on, on social media, please make sure that your timeline is under your control. You know, that you're not being fed a stream of directed information. Because anything they can do, sooner or later, they will do. Thank you. You done? Are you finished? Okay, all right, we good? We good, all right, cool, thank you. We love our first responders now, don't we? <laughs> don't we, folks? All right, the people of the planet are free. And are, <laughs> and are not entitled to be treated with abuse. And that's all that the government, that's all that the World Health Organization, that's all that the prison planet has done to the free peoples of the earth, is treat them with abuse, physical abuse, by tasering them and throwing them in jail and in chains and in prison and in cages for refusing to obstruct their breathing. 
with a paper mask to defend themselves, to protect themselves and others and their loved ones and their grandparents from a disease that only kills a fraction of a fraction of a percent of the people who get it. And the abuse isn't just physical, the abuse is gaslighting. Telling us that we need all of this, telling this, us that this is for all our protection. Saying that if we refuse to go along, walk step to what they demand, that we hate our loved ones, that we ought to be outcasts of society, we ought to be thrown in prison and in some cases killed. And I don't want things to get physical, you know, I mean, I, I hate confrontation, I got butterflies in my belly for even being up here. But one thing we cannot tolerate is abuse. And if the system wants to force their mental illness and force their tyranny upon us, then I just gotta say, you all, you bastards better come and get it. And to the people listening, to the people who are too afraid to speak out, the people, the people who are afraid, I gotta tell you that you, the truth will set you free. Put on these glasses, take off your mask, or start chewing that trash can. Tomorrow in Manchester, the alderman meeting for the mask mandates has been canceled because two weeks ago, a good contingent of us were there in Manchester and showed up to speak our um, opposition to the mask mandate and since they saw some opposition, they've now um, destroyed our ability to speak with our feet and show up to a public hearing to make the most impact. So they're violating due process and the right to know law, and they're just taking the government offline into a system where they can just silence everyone and screen the phone calls prior to censoring any dissent to the mainstream governmental narrative. So we're definitely going to be rallying tomorrow in front of Manchester City Hall from 4 to 6. And we're going to see what happens with that vote. There's only one, they're one vote off from overturning this, this thing. They only need one more vote to keep it from happening in Manchester. I'm aware of that person. I'm going to email them um, after this event, actually. So just an update with that. Hopefully we can keep Manchester from becoming a mask mandate zone. Um, so yeah, but thank you all for coming out. Look, to, look forward to seeing you at the next one. Peace. We'd like to invite you to visit Freekeen.com. Freekeen.com features audio, video, and blogs chronicling the transition to a voluntary society. Freekeen.com also has comments and discussion forums so you can be heard. Freekeen.com. I should be in Keene, New Hampshire with the Free Staters.